Dallas Mavericks could clinch the division and a playoff spot tonight with a win and a little bit of help. The Mavericks taking on the Hornets and you can watch right here live on WFAA. Joining me to talk about it, Nick Angstead, host of the Locked On Mavericks podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us, Nick. Absolutely. Let's play some basketball today. Let's get into it. Uh, all right, let's uh, talk about Luka Doncic, how he's doing. We know this is a guy who's been banged up this season a bit. He missed Saturday's game. He was back for Sunday's game. A little tired in that one, but uh, a big win for the Mavericks. How's Luka? Yeah, Luka is Luka's doing all right. His legs are, are have kind of been an issue all season. He's had thigh issues, Achilles soreness, calf issues. I mean, it's really been since the the offseason he's had these issues, and it's stuff that he can play through. The Mavs keep throwing him out there, and Luka, if he's going to get a chance to be able to play, he's going to take it. And so this is just something that Luka kind of has to work through the rest of the season. And you remember in 2022, Luka had some issues with his legs, missed the first two games of the playoffs, and the Mavs ended up making the Western Conference Finals. So this is not something new for the Mavericks. All right, this was a win against Houston, and man, it is fun eliminating any Houston team from uh, contention. But let's talk about how the Mavericks have been playing overall since they trailed Houston in that game until the final three minutes. It made for a dramatic and thrilling conclusion, but you'd like to win a little bit more comfortably, wouldn't you? Uh, a dub is a dub, you know, like you'll take it either. You'll take it either way. And like, we saw some things in that game where you're starting to, to look at this Mavs team and say, how can they win in different ways? And they're starting to show you that we can win. If we're down 20 in a game, we can win. If we're not hitting our threes, we can win. If they play our centers off the floor, we can win. If one of our stars isn't a hundred percent that night and against Houston, like many of those things happened. And Kyrie Irving was the star that really stepped up 48 points, his Mavs career high. It was an absolute uh, masterful performance from him. And then you got some key role players stepping up like Dante Exum, P.J. Washington, and others. But you've seen those guys really step up in those key moments, like you mentioned. That's what you want to see out of a team that you hope can make a deep playoff run. But to do that first, you got to get past the Hornets tonight in Charlotte on the road. It is the start of a road back-to-back. -back. Let's talk about this team playing away from the AAC. Your thoughts on this matchup? Yeah, this is kind of an interesting one. The Mavs kind of have something to play for, but the Mavs Clippers 4-5 series is basically set. There are some projection models out there that say it's a 95% probability that the Clippers and Mavs will play in the 4-5 spots in the first round. So there's not a ton really to play for, but there is a real interesting wrinkle to this game. It's the Grant Williams and P.J. Washington revenge games. Grant Williams was on the Mavs at the beginning of the season. He, uh, he talked a lot and talked a big game, and then it didn't really back up. He didn't really fit, and now he got traded to his hometown with the, the Hornets, so he's been playing pretty well there. And P.J. Washington got traded from the Hornets to the Mavericks, and so now that could be a revenge game for him where he'll want to go back, prove himself, and, and show up for that crowd. Let's pull out big picture. You know, I'm kind of a pump the brakes guy. I don't want to talk too much about the postseason until you get there and you see what's going on. But what do you want to see from this team as they wind down this season to feel confident that, you know what, maybe they could do something special this year in the postseason? Yeah, I'd like to see I'd like to see how they can get some more scoring from somebody else. We saw PJ Washington have a really good game recently. I'd like to see somebody just a little bit more consistently get a shot, you know, like hit some threes. We've been seeing that from PJ, from Derek Jones Jr. Obviously, Dante Exum shooting 50% from three. I'd like to see Maxi really get his three-point shot come along, so get him some opportunities and get some reps. And uh, I'd love to see uh, Josh Green come back from injury. He's listed as doubtful today, which is an upgrade from being out with the, those injuries for a little while. Uh, also, Derek Lively, I'd like to see an update on him and see where he's going to come back and just get healthy basically before the end of the season. Well, first things first, got to get a win tonight. Mavericks have just four games left in the regular season. Three of them broadcast right here on WFAA. Tonight's game tips off at 6 o'clock, and you can catch new episodes of the Locked on Mavs podcast with Nick Daly. Nick, thank you for hanging out with us. Of course, you can listen to him by downloading that podcast anywhere you get them. 